So let's take a look at the Avada Lightbox feature, which uh, really allows people to click on an image and view a full, really a full screen version of the image without the image having to take up the full page. So I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to show you how to set one of these up, how to tweak some of the the uh, the settings and options, and that way you can set up your own Avada Lightbox. So assuming that you already have your WordPress website set up and you have the Avada theme installed, um, then when we go to edit a page, so if you just um, click to edit, I like to open it in a new tab. So we have this example page that we'll use to set up this light box. So I already have this one set up here, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but essentially what we'll do is we'll click on, so this is a container, which you can just click add container, which is all I did here. And then if you click elements, <clears throat> then there's this light box option here. So then you need a full size image, which is the image that's going to show up when people click. So you can see this one's actually quite small. So let's see if we can find a larger image here to use. Um, this might, this might not look so good, but it's going to be large. So it'll look good in that capacity. So we need the full size image, which again is the one that shows up when you click. And then we also need the thumbnail, which is this image right here. And so we have both of those selected. Once you've selected those two, the light box will start to work. So we can go ahead and preview this page and we'll see. So now we have this light box here. When we click on it, we can see it takes up a large portion of the screen here. So <clears throat> we'll just delete this one so we can see what this looks like. So that's basically the the, the light box element within Avada. Now there are some additional settings for the light box. So if you go to Avada Global Options, you open that in a new tab, then you will on the left hand column here, if you click on light box, then you'll find all these different options here where you can change the global settings for how the light box features on your website. So this first setting here, you can choose to enable lightbox throughout the web throughout the theme basically throughout the website so you could turn lightbox off entirely if you want um, obviously we don't want to do that in this situation so we'll leave that turned on um, and then there's also the option to turn on the lightbox on featured images on blog posts i like to keep that turned off personally um, but you can toggle that on and off uh, you can choose the lightbox behavior the skin so there's different you know, there's like a lighter skin so that it doesn't look, when you click on it, it doesn't look so dark. So you can play around with those different options, see what they look like. Um, you can choose the thumbnail position, the animation speed, whether you want arrows so people can navigate through all the images in the light box. <clears throat> there, you can have it play through all the images in the, in the light box gallery. So you can have a little start stop button. So you can t toggle that on and off. You can have an autoplay. You can choose the speed at which it put, plays through um, the background opacity. So that's this background color here. So it's pretty dark black color here. So we could change that to a lighter color. Um, we can change that darkness here as we please. And we can choose to have a title, a caption, and social sharing as well. So those would all show up here uh, when somebody views the light box. And then you can toggle the deep linking, um, the post images, and then also change the dimensions. And then when you're done changing any of these settings, you just want to make sure to click save changes here, and then that will save the changes, and then you'll be able to see those changes reflected on the front end of the website. So I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the Avada Lightbox feature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section down below. I'll be sure to get back to him there. And until next time, take care.